It's Bird Game. Maybe it's that I've just kind of gotten into a bit of a routine with this, but it's just a, it's just a very it's it's just a very nice way for me to spend my midweek, my Wednesday afternoons, but just sitting at my desk with a nice calm game of Bird Game, Excuse me. watching the bubbles rise on this mildly alcoholic beverage. And like, it's nice, you know, you know, some days are for going to the gym, some days are for just sitting at home and relaxing. And like, this, this is a little routine I got myself into that really screams midweek. Like, today at work, I was like, kind of struggling with like, oh, it's only Wednesday. Like, I still got two more days. But like, now that I'm here, like... With my drink, hearing the peaceful music, talking to myself as if someone's listening. It really helps me, like, feel more like, like the real, like a real Wednesday now. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Um, let's see what we got for bonuses. We got geographic names and birds that eat wheat. We got two wheat eating birds, and we've got one. Look at this fricker. You already knew. If, if you know, you know. And one geographic bird. So we can either try to get one more geographic bird. We, we take this one. I don't want to have to, because I, I don't even know if I'm going to take both of these, but I'm probably going to take him because he's so easy to just play. Plus, he gives you bonus cards, so. I think, I think this is the correct answer. So what we do here is, uh, we slap down the rose breasted crossbeak. Then we draw, slap down the California condor as well, in the same habitat. At that point, we're getting food for days whenever we need it. So from there on out, we can afford to. Uh, plus, this is a bull nest bird, which will be good for this round. Uh, I think this is, I think this is the correct way to do it. Now maybe, maybe I should be putting the California condor here or here. Um, those are all wetland spurs and I don't want any of them. We will let the AI give a chance to draw first because I don't want those. But I think the importance of getting to level two on one of these categories is, you know, very valuable. Rose-breasted grosbeak. This pretty sweet-sounding bird has the gruesome nickname Cutthroat. Yeah, I can see why. I'm gonna go ahead and top off myself here because if I if I put all of the the cider in the glass right from the start. There's not enough space for the for the uh for the alm dudler. So I've gotta like I gotta go like two thirds of the cider first and then the rest of the and then some alm dudler and as I drink it refill the rest of the cider. Okay. Uh, tuck a card if you do lay an egg. That's kind of the opposite of what I want from a wetlands bird. But I will take it. Plus that is a nice way to get eggs for objective number uh, numero uh, dose. I won't complain. I do still need to be- I need to be looking for geographic names. Gotta be looking- Mississippi Kite, for example. Geographic name. Tell you what, I'll take it. 
This is good for now. So we're gonna put you in the uh, in the grasslands. We're gonna lay eggs. Put you in the grasslands. Play both of get food. Play one of these birds and then lay eggs again. And that's our that's the rest of our our round. I've got this worked out. Now that these are some, these are high value birds. I just really don't want them. Now let's get some food. Uh, or no, sorry, we need to get some eggs. We need to lay eggs. kind of people watch this video because like I know the streams don't get views just because like um, the streams don't get views because uh, you know no one goes to twitch to check for bird game and I don't have a following on twitch but like the the, the uploads get like California condor there were just 22 of these scavengers alive in the 1980s, but there are now over 200. Birds with the eat anything symbol, or I already have one, so I only need one more. We'll take you. Um, but the the uploads consistently get like 10 to 20 views, and Captain, if you want, like, you know, you know, I'm I I'm, I'm willing to you know bet like. You know, my friends or someone will click on one when they see it, watch for a bit and go, okay, I'm bored, and leave. But also, that's like, do I have 20 people who do who would do that? 20 people who would... And, and, and after having uploaded like 30 of them, they're still like clicking on... People are still clicking on them, watching for four seconds and going, okay, bye. Like, at this point, you would know. You don't care. I've put this slight. I've put this slightly deeper into the game, so you have to watch the video to see it. That's right. If you're still sticking around from the intro, now you know that I'm thinking about you. All right, let's get two food. We got one of you. One. Oh, this is perfect. That was the ideal uh, setup of. That was the ideal scenario. We got exactly the food we wanted. Uh, great crested? That probably counts as a named or body part bird, but uh, we unfortunately cannot do anything about that because we can't afford to draw. I guess we could draw and lay eggs, but... Oh, it's too late. It's already gone. <laughs> yeah, crest is on there. Uh, bunt is not, though. What is bunting? Indigo bunting. Why is it called a bunting? Also, why is the music so loud? Is my headphones? Closely related to the lazuli bunting. Let's just say bunt ing. Have a bunting. Bunting, 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 bunting. Not the same species. Uh, indigo bunting. Bunting, 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 bunting. Stars, migration, breeding, diet, pre why is it called, why is it called indigo bunting?
sometimes called blue canaries. Here, what? Let's let's just look up bunting, and we'll see. Oh. Okay. Well, the both both of the first two definitions are about birds. I would have expected like, uh, you know, like, you know, like the the, the kind of the bunting, the decorations. I would have expected one North America decoration thing, or not North America if it's not North America specific, but uh Oh, here it is. Bunting, flags or other colorful festive decorations. Uh, it does not say North America. Oh, but this says bunting, North America, a hooded sleeping bag for babies. What? The frick is bunting, baby, baby bunting. But you, you, you trying to tell me? This is this is a onesie. It's a onesie with a hood. Why are you? <laughs> that poor baby. That baby hates that. Look at that. Like this baby. This baby doesn't mind. This baby is sad. Look at that baby. Very sad. That baby's not happy. That baby's not happy. That baby's not. This is the same baby, isn't it? This poor baby got taken in and out of this thing a hundred times. This, this one baby, this is, this, this is the only picture with a different baby. <laughs> Wait. Okay, we got two babies now. Okay. Oh, or it's one baby and two big, and, oh, we're leaving. We're leaving. All right. Well, this is the first time I've heard about, uh, bunting being, uh, used to refer to that. Um... But yeah, apparently bunting just means... Oh yeah, also I would have expected bunting to be like... Like, I, I, okay, sorry. I expected bunting to be A, 1, baseball, 2, decorations, 3, a different thing that I never heard of. But apparently it's 1, thing I haven't heard of, 2, fla uh, flags, 3, thing I've never heard of, 4, baseball. Uh, but yeah, apparently it's just a name for a certain kind of bird. And as a non-bird person, as someone who is not well-versed in the art of bird, I did not know. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and play the Mississippi Kite. And we're going to feed you the rat. Mississippi Kite. These birds mostly not stupid. eat large insects, but they'll also eat rodents, bats, and birds. Well, that was, that was our tangent for today. Um, which means that will be the name of the episode as well. The episode is going to be called uh, What the Frick is a Bunting? Or something less, you know, like, questioned, inquisitive, like, something less, like... Uh, I I'll go through and I'll see if I can find a better line. But... Oops. Uh, but it may end up being called What the Frick is Bunting? Or WT Frick is Bunting. Or is a bunting, perhaps? No bunting, because I cause the original question started with me saying, "What is bunting?" Thinking that it was going to like tell me about a kind of tree or a bird body part, even though it obviously wouldn't because it's not in this part right there. What kind of bird nerd do you have to be to make this game? Like, you gotta be a bird nerd. All right, what we got down here? Uh, Dick Sissel, Morning Dove, Red-Tailed Hawk. That is a body part. That does what we need. Um, I would... Like to... Uh, I'll, I'll get it now. I'll get it now. Yellow build. If we can get two more, plus the Red-Tailed Hawk. Oh, doesn't matter. Going... Don't even think about it. Ooh, play no, that's grasslands only. Or forest only. Really bugs me that green is not grasslands. It makes sense, because obviously trees are green.
but like there's a there's a there's a there's a biome called there's a habitat called grasslands or you know prairie or whatever and it's not green because it's orange which it make it makes sense but it's still uh okay so we're gonna go ahead and play the bush tit bush tit bush tits live in flocks and single adults will help couples raise their young Good job on the bush tit for being, you know, good community members, helping single, single folks, helping couples raise their young. I'm not doing that. I haven't helped anyone raise their young, and I'm single. Maybe. Um. I, but now that I'm looking at this picture of the bird as it, the bush tit as it like does its thing, I don't like the look of it. I don't like the look of that bird. Oh, free egg. We take those. Alright. Uh, well then let's get some food. No rat. That's kind of unfortunate. I specifically wanted the rat. At least one. So I, I drew three food and I did not get a single thing I wanted. So I do not get to play the hawk. Sprague's Pippet. It's a bonus card, but it's it's still not what I want. I... I can go... Yeah, here's what I should do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so the question is, do I want the morning dove? It's free eggs. It's not very high value. Do I want Sprague's Pippet? Uh, tell you what, I'll take the, I'll take... We're gonna, we're gonna discard an egg. And then we're going to take morning dove and downy woodpecker. Then we're gonna tuck downy woodpecker and get the egg. So we did not spend an egg and we got a point for tucking a card. And we got an extra refresh in the, uh, in the bird pile. The tray, as it's called in the real world. But it is not dis dis displayed as a tray in the game. Okay, so I can play Morning Dove now, and then Red Hill Talk in a sec. So we'll go ahead and do that. Morning dove. One pair of doves may raise five or six small broods in a year. Um, as much as I want to, um, as much as I want to have the red-tailed hawk be up here, I think I might play him down there. I think that's uh. Well, it, it kind of depends. I, I, I don't have time to get food and play him and lay eggs, so I gotta do it in round three anyway. And... I don't know, maybe it won't be, maybe it's not beneficial to, me, to do it that way. We're gonna lay three eggs. Put them all there. Lay one extra egg. Roll, no rat. That's fine. Um... I kind of wish I'd gotten tried the other apple cider or the hard cider. I went to the when I went to the liquor store, because so because I have four liters worth of Alm Dudler that I brought home from Germany. I was like, I'm gonna need if I'm gonna drink this with uh, with hard ciders, I'm gonna need a lot more hard ciders. So I went to the liquor store uh, on Saturday, and well, let's double check. Uh, that's a draw too. That's not worth it. Let's. You know, we're not going to get an egg out of it, but let's draw the Sprague's Pippet 
and another card. Oh yes, we are, you idiot. Black turn. Dra oh, crap. That's kind of a good card. It's cheap, is a star nest. Four is not, is not, you know, four is a decent amount of points. It's easy to play. Its ability is effectively just cycling cards until you get good ones. I think I'd rather keep that. Because... Yeah. But anyway, so I went to the liquor store, and I got some... Uh, I don't know, what's Angry Orchard Hard Apple Cider for me to mix with my Alm Dudlers and nice casual afternoon drinks. Uh, I don't have any, do I? No. Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Um, but they only had one six pack of the regular. But they did have six packs of green or Hard Apple hard, Angry Orchard Green. Apple cider. And I have no idea what that means, and I'm curious. And I, I'm kind of wishing I'd tried that just to see. Uh, uh, red shouldered hawk. Yeah, that's a body part. Ruby throated hummingbird. That's a body part. Gold finch. American. Not gold finch. <laughs> so all of the. All three. Okay, so right now. We need two more of you. Or two more of you. Here's two of them. Okay, let's... Let's get the black turn down first. Did not get another rat. Jeez. Uh... Okay. We're gonna play the turn. Hopefully, none of these guys draw. We're gonna play the turn, get both of these birds. Um, so we're gonna play the turn, get both those birds, and if we can play all of them, all of these main birds, then that's four of these. God dang it. It's not worth it now. Black turn. These turns build floating nests out of marsh plants. Because now I would need to draw cards twice to get what I need. And if I have to spend two turns drawing cards to get these four points, I'm better off just laying eggs. Playing what I have and laying eggs. Or waiting for a better, uh, a better effect. So for the rest of this turn, uh, unless something more interesting shows up down here, and by turn I mean uh, round, of course, we're going to go ahead and play the red-tailed hawk. I'm going to consume this egg. Red-tailed hawk. Movies almost always use the red-tailed hawk's call for any raptor. You're gosh darn right. Chimney Swift. God. You know, I have not used one of those birds, the, the birds with this effect, in a game in a while. And it's a little... Oh, right. Star Nest. And it's a little weird, because, like, these are useful birds. These are good birds. Because, like, you only need to play... You, you don't need to spend the extra egg to get birds into the spot you need to get the effect. You just have to be more strategic with when you do your... When you use your effect. And I just... I don't know. 
is that too, is it just too strategic for me? And so I just don't want to do that on my nice relaxing Wednesday evening with a hard apple cider rattler. How many times can I mention my drink in this episode? I mean, it, it, it is still a, it is a, a fairly new addition. Like last week was the first week I did this with the drink, with the, with the cider, with the shandy, the rattler. But I gotta enjoy it before it gets outlawed in Austria. Did you guys hear about that? The the beer party of Austria wants to ban, uh, wants to one of their like joke platform pieces is that they want to ban Rattlers. And it's like, my dude, you guys are Austrian. You're you're the Almdudler country. You can't ban Rattlers. That's what Almdudler is. Oh wait, is it my turn? I was waiting for the AI. I was waiting for the AI. How long was it my turn? Northern Flicker. Oh, geographic name, geographic name. That's two geographic names. We're back in business, baby. Only problem is these birds both suck. They actually both suck. Like, fully, I hate both of them. They are low value. Their effects do nothing. And I, I, I'd be playing them just so I could get this four points. That's not worth it. I would sooner... Uh, I'm going to lay eggs again. I would rather do that than... Ah, one, one, one too many. And hopefully somebody is going to, um, uh, draw cards this turn. Uh, so I can draw cards on my last turn this round and not have to do it next turn. But if I have to do it next, uh, next round, I mean to say, I will. Excuse me. They all got food. Lay laid eggs. All right. Um, I guess I'll get eggs again. That is a huge bird. Jeez. Red-tailed hawk, what are you doing trying to kill a bird that big? It's bigger than you. It's twice your size. Bro, did I... I don't know if I mentioned... the frickin' birds that I saw in Europe. Like... I, I, I tied for... I had four. Really? That's interesting. Um... Where where's the picture that I took of these of this bird on my trip in Europe? Here it is. Look at this! Look at these birds! Like th th there were there were plenty of these birds in Europe. They were just kind of in all kinds of parks, but like go go away. I, I, I can't zoom in on the bur on the thing if you're blocking it, Google. What are you doing? Are you gonna go away? Oh my god. That's frustra- that is- that is terrible UI. What are you doing, Google? Why would you block the- th the picture? Why would you try to- why would you block the picture? So that- like... What are you doing, Google? Oh. It's because I use control zoom to, to zoom and not sh uh, shift zoom. Uh, so I, I zoomed in on the web page and not in the picture. But yeah, like, look at this, like, this, like, freaking, like, red eyed demon loon. I mean, on closer inspection, you can tell it's actually just a regular eye with, like, a red outline, but, like, like from here, look at that bird. Jeez. No, over there, like, jeez. 
Look at look at these. Look, you, you see what I mean? Crazy. Um. Yeah. Anyway, last round. Any good? Anything good here? Uh, blue cross beak. And Ren and Fench need those count. Also, Grossbeak uh, is not a good. Uh, else, it doesn't matter anyway. Grossbeak is not a good. Oh God, we're gonna have to draw just cuz. I, I, yeah, like, I need to draw cards. Okay, this is a valuable, this is a value card. Um, both of these are actually not that bad in value. Um, well, I mean, actually, this one, this one, this is not good in value. Yeah, here's what I do. But we got the Snowy Eager, that's a four-point bird. I would really like to... Maybe I should have gotten the House Finch. It's a three-point bird, and it's probably as good as it's gonna get. It's also got, uh... Although... Ooh. I, I, I... I'm starting to regret my decisions, because... Oh, free food. Okay. Uh, it's not any food that I want, but thanks anyway, game. <sighs> yeah, like... I'm gonna do it again. There we go, a high-value bird. You are not. Okay. So, uh, we need, uh, two fish or a fish and a grub. There's a grub. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. As long as we can... Why did I do that? Okay, so right now, we need two food of all, of, of any kind. Okay, yeah, so we got all the food, we got all, all of what we need. Um, problem here, we can't afford to play and lay eggs. Um, fish crow. These birds may eat more fish than other crows, but they're actually omnivores. Okay. So we can either, on our last turn, lay eggs, get second place, which moves us up one point and uh, gets us more eggs. Or we can spend an egg. Okay, hold on. So. God. Freaking... Okay. So. We can either play this bird. We spend one egg to get three points from him, and that's the end of the game. We will tie for fourth, if that, and get three points, because a tie for second, you, we uh, will get three points. Maybe even two points. So that's, let's say, let's say five or six points. Or, we can 
uh, lay eggs at guaranteed one, two, three points. This puts us in second place, so maybe four points. So we're gonna get three points plus, so it's mathematically better, plus there's the chance of these guys having their effects activate, so we just gotta lay eggs. It's just the better way to do it. And just like that, it was better. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that I couldn't even freaking roll the dice. All right, let me see it. Pretty, pretty mediocre. Not, not a good game for uh, bird value. And around goals, though, we had good. Lots of eggs. Food on cards. Tough cards. 78. Wow. That was a bad game, and yet we ran away with it. Not ran away with it. Only We only won by... We didn't even win by a dozen points, but... Point-wise, bad game. But we demolished the AI. So I guess it was kind of a bad game for everyone. And, you know, in the kingdom of dirt, the king is still the king. It's good to be the king.